today we're going to talk about and look at the question, are Uber and Lyft becoming the same company? You know, uh, Lyft recently changed their bonus structure so that it's almost identical to Uber. And that got me thinking, uh, how are the companies similar and how are they different? And stick around at the end of the video, I'm going to point out the biggest difference and I'm going to recommend one of these companies is the, still the best one to drive for uh, if you have a choice. So hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy, and today we're going to look at some of the similarities and differences between Uber and Lyft. So the first thing that's similar is the rate, the prime time, the surge levels, and the payouts. Now the current payouts are about 75%. In San Francisco, the rates are virtually identical, and whenever there's a prime time spike with Lyft, there's a surge spike with Uber. Here's a good example of how they're very similar. Uh, this Monday uh, started uh, an event called Sales Forces. It's called Dreamforce, huge convention. And look here, you can see how uh, on the left, Uber, their uh, surge is at 2.5. That means it's one and a half increase. And Lyft, their prime time is at 150%, also one and a half. So they are virtually identically the same. Uber. So on the very basics, they're almost exactly the same company. Similarity number two is now the bonuses. So it used to be that uh, Uber had a very flexible bonus and Lyft had peak hours and you had to keep your acceptance rate above 90%, but that's not the case anymore. Now you can drive whenever you want. There's no uh, specification as to the acceptance rate. And you can even get paid out in three different sections uh, throughout the week, just the way you can with Uber. So on the bonuses, they're virtually the same. The amounts are a little bit different, but same, same. The third big similarity and where they're starting to come together is in their corporate image. So Lyft has always been the softer, the gentler, the pinker of the two companies. Uber was black. Uber had uh, a CEO who was very abrasive. He was berating a driver on a YouTube video and uh, and now they've got a new CEO, Dara Khosra Shahi, and he really seems to be turning things around in terms of the image of Uber. Uber's listening, right? We've, we've heard that before. Uh, they had their 180 days of, of improvements for the driver experience. So uh, they're both becoming like a friendlier and softer and gentler. Uh, there isn't the big gap that there used to be. So that's what's similar. But let's look at still what are some significant differences. For me, a huge difference between Uber and Lyft is that Lyft has the arrive button. So when you approach your passenger, you can click that you've arrived and then see exactly where you're going. This gives you a lot more flexibility to determine if this is a ride you want to take or not. With Uber, you got to start the ride, which you don't usually do till you see the customer uh, get in your car. And then it's very difficult to cancel a ride that way. So for ease and flexibility and for being able to kind of control what rides you take, um, you got to give this one to Lyft. The second big difference is tipping. So since Lyft started, you've always been able to tip. The passenger has always been able to tip. With Uber, they weren't allowing tipping for the longest time. And now, of course, uh, passengers can tip with Uber. But in my experience, those passengers don't tip very much. Whereas with Lyft, I get a lots and lots and lots of tips. So I'd say on a weekly basis, when I drive 50 hours a week, it's like a hundred dollar difference in the amount of tips that I can get driving for Lyft versus driving for Uber. Now the third and biggest difference is the destination filters. So with Lyft, I get a total of six destination filters and I use them all day long. With Uber, you only get two. And that's made a, th those destination filters have really made a big difference for me, especially when I'm driving on the weekends because I can program these long rides, long rides from one end of the bay to the other. And that really gets my dollar earning per hour way, way up. And this is the most important difference for me is this, this difference in the amount of destination filters that we have. So when it's all said and done, Yes, Uber and Lyft are becoming much more the similar type of company. They're, they're kind of melding into the same kind of entity. But when it comes to the driver experience, uh, 
better tips, the arrival button, and the destination filters having six instead of just two, I gotta give the nod to Lyft. Hope you really enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, go ahead and give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel for The Rideshare Guy, by all means, uh, subscribe. You'll be on top of all the current news and everything that's going on in the rideshare industry. If you're a driver, this is a place you gotta be. Y'all go out there and have a great day.